Shaber 1000 here. Today I've got another flea market find, I guess you'd call it. It was from a, a thrift store, thrift store find, whatever, but it'll go under one of them playlists. Um, yep, <laughs> there we go. Um, so let's open this up and let's check it out. Okay, guys, so like I said when I was telling you about the table, uh, we went to our buddy's thrift store just right up the road here, about a quarter mile, half a mile. Um, I was walking down. I went down this one aisle where he's got like the stereos and the speakers and computers, stuff like that. And I came out, went down another aisle, I was talking to Monkey, and then she went down the aisle I just came out of, and for some reason I'd walked past this, and it caught my eye because it was open. But, of course, you guys know what's in there. <laughs> so, um, don't know what that's for. There's nothing in these zipper pockets. Um, it does not have a battery with it, but it does have one of those things you, you plug in where the battery goes. This is one of those... one of those deals like if you go overseas or whatever um, it's a plug adapter <laughs> so there's this guy it does have one of those but also in this side it has <clears throat> I mean back and on I gave 10 bucks for you said you know what's it worth I said you know I collect them I said it's worth 10 bucks you know because I figured a bag's worth that he said now you know I, I don't know if it works and I'm like I, I don't care and I don't. I really don't. It's because it's it's one that I don't have. Uh, if it was one that I've already got, I probably would have passed on it. Maybe. <laughs> but um, I like to get the ones I don't have. Uh, VHSC. Um, it's the TC30. 62M. So it's got brand new tape here. So. A bunch of new tapes. We'll get this out. There's another brand new tape in here this is the thing I'll have to use to um, in place of the battery I don't think I got a battery I like this one but um, and then you plug this into I do have the piece that this plugs into and that you plug into the wall so it's the JVC Compact VHS Intelligent Function Control Program AE 14 times Hyper Zoom Quick Response AF. Is that quick response is fuck or what? Anyway, so uh, what's the number on it? YU3083 4. It's a. Uh, so it would be a um, JVC, it's the uh, VHSC GR-AX655. Now like I said, I don't know if it works, I don't know anything about it, but we're going to, if it does, we're going to try it out. Um, here's where you put your, your stuff into, audio and, what's that thing for? Oh, that was probably for that at one time, but at least it's still here. Um, so, we'll leave it. We're going to turn it off. It's got an edit button. What that was for was it would have a remote that you actually, a cable that you would plug in. You held the remote. Um, so, that. Um, lens cover right here on the side does this open and that opens up there's some controls here there's your zoom um, color viewfinder which is uh, which was really high class when this came out because most of them you know when you look through the viewfinder they were black and white um, so there's your eyepiece uh, there's eject 
so it's got a light on it there's a remote uh, thing too uh, you could get a remote IR remote for it too as well uh, this is your little your selection for what like you know there's for sports and uh, when it gets darker and all that stuff so it did this one don't have a book so I'll have to go online it does have a timer I'll have to go online and check it out but what we're going to do is we're going to plug it in I'm going to check it out I'm going to go get my plug-in thing there's your switch for your light it's got auto and on so all right let me go get my thing let's get this plugged in we'll see if it works I don't think there's a tape in it I like finding them with tapes in it because I like to see what's on we found that one remember has had all them pictures and yeah. uh, the last one had all them videos on it yeah. of the of the kid so yeah, that, I like to find them. I'm not sure what this is or this is so. Somebody and this is lock release auto mode so I would say it would probably go there all right so let me go get my let me go get my thing we'll get this plugged in maybe I'll look it up real quick off camera for you tell you a little bit more about it but we're going to do that and I'll be right back with you hang tight okay guys so I found my power bank it's pretty cool this slides in and out so for uh, storage okay I've, I have it plugged in let's turn this the camera on and it did light up and I heard it go bzzzing. okay let's see light works so that's cool now let's try to eject this and see if there's a tape in here okay no tape all right now I have a tape but let's use one of these and um, first let's close this and see see if it's doing anything in here I see stuff very blurry let me try to Just this here. There we go. Cool. All right. Now it's telling me there's no tape. I don't know if you guys can see in there, but okay. So now let's. Uh... All right. I'm gonna put a tape in here, and then I'll kick you back on, and we'll try to film something and then we'll see what it looks like after it's filmed okay guys so I've, I've got I found the date just right here on the bottom manufactured May of 1996 as you can see there's no screen to look through so you have I mean that was a hard selfie back in the day right I mean you see you have to look through the viewfinder <clears throat> so I got a tape opened up here it's a brand new tape I'm gonna put this in I'm going to close this by pushing that button there. Alright, so it's reading the tape. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to film some stuff here and then I'll the next clip you see will be um, A clip of what is being filmed with this and I'll try different try to change this to different stuff there's a self timer oh yeah cool sports awesome all right so let me do that let me do some filming here let's see how it looks and then I'll be back with you now I'm recording Check, check, one, two. Got 26 minutes on this tape. Oh, monkey, monkey doing her little thing over there. <laughs> so I'm going to change some of this dials here. There's 
timer. There's twilight. Okay, that's cool for when slow light. That made it better on twilight in here. Now I have not messed with any of the, uh, so I don't know if it's got. Okay, there, there's no effect right there, so I don't know if it has. Intelligent function control, but I I don't know what all this thing does. You know, uh, menu-wise and all that, like anti-shake or anti-vibration or whatever. But there's monkey walking past again, doing her little thing. Getting ready for the Christmas tree. Working on. Okay, so I'm going to end this clip right here. Uh, let's see, I'd, well, it's about two minutes. So anyway, well, real quick, if I can get you over here without knocking a bunch of stuff off. See what it looks like out here. See what the zoom is like. Because, you know, it's got a focus. But I don't know how to focus it. So I don't know. See right there, it's real blurry. But so I don't know if it's got an autofocus. F1 says focus. So let's try F1 and see what happens. Oh, oh that's fader. It changed on me. Okay, it's doing something there. There's focus. Doesn't seem to be. Like I said, I've got online here, I did find. I did find an owner's manual on it online, so I have to look that up and really, we'll we'll revisit this camera. Cause I think I may have a battery to fit in. I'm not sure. I got a bunch of batteries for these things. Okay, so all right, there's the end of this clip. Okay, guys, so there you have it, the GR AX655 from 1996 May of 1996 uh, this thing is in very good condition everything works um, we are going to do a revisit on this because I do have the uh, manual right here on my phone for it so we can really get some good footage the only thing I did through editing was stretched it to 16.9 from 4.3 other than that, what you see is what this camera does. Um, I'm sure it'd be better. Like uh, you know, it's got a it's got a uh, fader and focus and stuff all up here. You change all that. I'm not sure how to do that on this one. So that's why we're going to do a revisit. But there's there's not a scratch on it. You can still buy batteries and chargers and everything for this. I looked it up. Um, I don't know what they cost when they were new. Uh, the closest one I found to this was uh, $700 back in 1996. It was very similar, but it didn't um, it didn't have as much uh, like the color viewfinder. It was black and white, so this was really top of the line back in '96. So, but it didn't, you know, like I said, you it does not have a, a flip out screen. So, anyway, there you guys go. Right there. Ten bucks. I think the bag was probably well worth that. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, the only thing I found was where this was supposed to be connected right here to this little piece. That's the only thing I found that, that's wrong with the whole camera. 
all the functions do work like I said I just not sure how to how to work them so we we are going to do a revisit on this and these handles always they'll start peeling off you know and stuff like that so um, very good condition all right guys thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one y'all take care bye bye